Hey, hello there, guitar players and uh, yeah, and YouTubers and you name it, all of you. Uh, welcome to this little video that I'm uh, I'm doing. I got this from uh, oh, I can't even remember his name now. Uh, let's go and look and see what his name is. Uh, history. Um, his name, his channel is uh, Cryo, C R Y with a capital O, or maybe it's a zero. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, I subscribed to his channel just because. Hey, this dude gave me something that I've been looking for for years. Uh, well, not years, but uh, for for a while, for a few years actually now. Because yeah, when the pandemic started, I literally did uh, uh decided that i was going to try and do some streaming because i wasn't gigging anymore uh, and i thought well maybe hey maybe if i stream enough and uh put some effort a lot of effort into doing some streams that um I, maybe i could make some uh, extra cash like uh, that i was because of what i was losing from gigging but it didn't work out for me because it, it takes a lot of work to become a streamer and get people to subscribe to your channel uh, or watch you on Twitch. Uh, I've tried it several different ways. I've done the Twitch thing, the Facebook thing. Anyways, uh, so on with the, the show here. Okay, so what this is about is how to get your guitar rig 5, or I guess any guitar standalone software, to uh, connect to your OBS software. This is only for OBS. Uh, I don't know if it works with uh, slobs. Um, I use OBS and, uh, so this is what it's for. So, uh, the, the key thing that you have to do is you have to download the software ASIO pro link and use the patcher that comes with it. So I'm going to leave the, uh, the Google drive link to it that, uh, actually I think cryo has, has shared, um, I'm not taking, like I said, this is, I got this from Cryo. I don't know where he, where he got it from anybody or if he just figured this out on his own, but you know, without his help, this wouldn't be possible. That's for sure. Um, because I'm, I'm learning songs all the time for gigs and, and I've watched other streamers on Twitch streaming their guitars with great sound. Um, I've actually even talked to a couple of the streamers and they actually would not really reveal how they were doing what they were doing. I don't know why, but, uh, uh, so that, <laughs> made me have to continue searching around trying to find it and then I was sitting here practicing and I was like uh, you know I wonder if I could just stream OBS straight into to or stream my guitar rig straight into OBS like why wouldn't I be able to do that it's it's literally going to capture the the my uh I use a line 6 UX UX2 audio interface so uh, I was like why couldn't I just get OBS to take the input of um the uh my UX2 so, uh, but it didn't work. And, but of course I didn't s do it without the ASIO link at first. And I, and I, I connected the wrong, um, input. I put it as an output down here. And as you can see, it says actually it's input. Now you're capturing the input, not the output. So that was kind of stupid on my part, but anyways. Uh, so yeah, so literally you have to use the asio pro link and the patcher the link is down in my in the, the description to the google drive where i got it from you literally just need to install that and you once you've installed it you'll get this interface and then you'll see when you start playing guitar you'll start seeing that the uh these levels here uh will start going green so um so I installed this. You can see uh, you got to go to the ASIO panel. Now, the the panel that came up on uh, Cryo screen was different from mine. So when I click mine, I get this. Um, but it, it does the same thing. It literally is just, you know, you don't have to touch anything. You just kind of leave this. Um he had the ASIO for all driver. I think that's why he had the uh, the panel that showed up that was uh, like a green thing. Anybody that's used ASIO for all is probably familiar with it. And he had, you know, just turned everything off except for um, the, uh, 
gosh, what the heck was it? I don't remember. But anyways, so file, you go to your guitar, guitar rig once you have the ASIO uh, uh, Link Pro. Well, I guess I was calling it Pro Link. You go to file, you go to audio MIDI, MIDI settings, and you... Where's my audio? Oh, here they are. Oh, yeah, I pick it. So you change the, uh, the device to ASIO Link Pro. You also, um, for speakers... Um, we'll have uh, the ASIO Pro driver working as your speakers. And, um, and then that's it. You click OK, and then you will get your guitar going into... Let me grab my guitar. You will get your guitar going into uh, OBS. And it works perfect. <laughs> yeah so there you have it man that's all you got to do download the asio link pro uh install that first and then use the patcher after that install he said to install it with the 32-bit and the 64-bit i'm not sure why because my operating system 64-bit but maybe it's because guitar rig might be 32-bit it's possible and that's literally all you have to do. Uh, thank Cryo again for the uh, for the tip. Um, like I said, been looking around for a long time. There's a few other guys on his uh, his uh, in his comments saying the same thing. They've been looking around for quite some time trying to figure out a way to do it. It does it. Um, oh, I guess you should go when you do the audio input capture, uh, advanced properties. Whoops, no, sorry. When you add it. Uh, you just switched to mix one ASIO. I can't see what that says, but, uh, anyways, it's this mix one pro ASIO pro driver, whatever you want to call it. And, and it works. It's, uh, yeah. Thank you again, cryo for doing this. Hope that this is helpful to some of you guys out there that see this, um, had to share it because you know, it's, it's, uh, it works fantastic. Enjoy. Happy guitar playing.